Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here for, what am I doing? I'm doing Use It Up Tuesday, that's what I'm doing. And I am cleaning out, yet I'm, I'm still working on the D stash, let's just say. And I came across this three ring binder and I'm gonna tell you what it is in just a minute after I say hi and hugs to Donna Kay, Jill Ann, Tana, and Teresa. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. Okay, so what this is, is when I very first started doing journals, um, this was stuff I had collected to do, to, to put in my journals. Well, this has gone on a shelf and I have not, not done a thing with any of it. <laughs> so I need to go through it. I need to see what things I maybe could make something out of, which is what we'll do today. Um, also probably, you know, um, refile some of it into my, my current storage um, that, that I do. And, um, and yeah, there's just, this is the that's all sort of, uh, you know, I have a spot for postcards, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So as storage changes, you know, you almost have to go through all your stuff and see if you have stuff that goes in that storage, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to start over here only because I saw these, these, um, uh, flash cards and I know I can do something with those. So I think what I'm going to do is just put this behind me like so, and then we'll just go, uh, pouch by pouch and kind of see what's in here. I have no idea. And I also am going to make a pile of stuff that can go in my D stashes. Cause I do believe a lot of this stuff came in happy mail that, um, and whether or not I'm going to use it is, is a question. Oh, I'm going to use that. Love me a little yo-yo. So I can use that. Use these. But hair bands. I'm sure that was the thought of those was closures. I haven't made one of those closures in a long time. But I like the colors. So I think I'll keep those, but I have a different place for those. So um, that'll be in the refile. Oh, here's another another yo-yo. Those are great. This little string. I don't know. I don't do that many purple things, but I think what I'll do is just kind of get it a little more neat and put it in my drawer of purple stuff that's right beside me. So I hope you don't mind me organizing a little before we make something. Okay, so these things, no, I'm good without those. And these little, little things too. I have a box of sequins, which I will put that into. This little, this is and that's. <laughs> And so, but I think I can do something with this and I know I'll do something with that. I'm okay with those. That's interesting, isn't it? You know, I actually have a kit that has um, Far Eastern things. So I might just refile that. I'm okay without my little pony. What are these? Activity log. This could be pages, but once again, I think I'm going to put those with my... Put those... I think I'll just put them back in here and put them with my D-stash stuff. And D-stash either means it's going on my Etsy or it's going to the Goodwill. One or the other. Just depends. Oh, there's some Rolodex cards. I'll put those in my coffee dye thing. Or I might do something with them. Who knows? 
little Christmas tree card. I think those are okay. This is a plastic slide. I'm going to put that in the D stash because I have some of those. Oh. That's just a little journal card. I think I'm, I just can't keep everything. I have to tell myself that. Okay, no, but I can use those. Okay, look at that. We're through one already. So that is all going to the D stash. These we could play with. This little sack could be fun to play with. Just put something on the front of it. Ooh, that fits. Okay. I don't know that I want that on there, but we can think about it. So these little cards, okay, so um, uh, we'll do one as we go along just to break things up a bit. Um, I'm looking for something to back it here. Maybe I'll just put that on to back it. So hope you're all having a great day. Hope things are going well. It is so cold here. So it is currently 17 below zero. Feels like something like 37 below. Cause there's a bit of a wind. My husband is out as we speak, clearing off snow. It has continued to snow on the driveway. And um, I said, should I do my video? Cause you know, I, sometimes I, I film on my phone and I sometimes like to just keep it um, free so that if he needs me for something he said nope I've got my long johns on I'll be good I'll come in when I'm cold so I'm trusting him to do that <laughs> oh my goodness yeah it is it is cold and I think it's snowing but it's kind of hard to tell it's like um, kind of a it's almost like frosty flakes in the air but they are coming down so I do think it's I do think it is snowing let me just get a few of those lumpy bumpies out I'm gonna sew around this but let us do a little distressing yeah, I just found this whole thing of stuff that, to be honest, I didn't even know I had. And I thought, well, let's let's make a few pieces with them. And then, like these, um, the rest of these cards, I'll just put them in my use it up basket that I have close here. And if something strikes me that I want to do with it, I'll just have them close at hand. But yeah, I think I'll sew around this just to give it a little extra texture and everything too. A few little lumpy bumps, but not bad. Oops, didn't get that corner very good. Oh gosh, Gail. Doesn't matter really because I'll be sewing it, but. Okay. So I also grabbed, I grabbed these because I've been, I've been making these, um, slow stitch little patches to use in different things. And I was just wondering about making a little, a little journal card with that. That and a Tim Holtz person is what I was, I kind of had in my brain. Um, let's just see. Oops, there they go. There they go. Let's see who might be good on there height wise. 
use you as a marker. So he's a little short. So who's this little girl? Again, just a bit short. It's too tall. Just gotta find the right person or people. Because two would be fine too. Let's just take out a few here. That's okay, but she's sitting and I don't feel like, you know I love her. She's like one of my favorite Timmy people. I could put her there and then like a word across there. <laughs> if I tilt her, she looks like she's flying. Okay, well, she's my favorite so far, but let's see what else we might have. I see some shoes that are intriguing me here. Oh, that's the same one. Hello. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <coughs> Won't work. There's three of them. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I have a tickle all of a sudden. You're too big. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a, some water. Mm. Oh, I don't know. You're a little too big, dude. Some they're too hard to. I don't know why, but I don't really want a guy. That covers up the whole thing. Hmm. I usually don't struggle like this with Timmy people, but. I'm struggling to find one. I feel like all I have is men. <laughs> I don't want a man on this one. Can't have multiple people because it covers up too much of the She is adorable. I put her on there. And I think I'm going to have to, um, I don't know, I want to put something over that. Not sure what. And I figure this could be a tuck tuck something behind it or or it could be a journal card I mean if it's a tuck you didn't need to cover the back but I never know so I always just do it <clears throat> I don't know if a ticket is I don't know if a ticket is the ticket <laughs> or not let's see maybe one of these. These are die cut and stamped. Okay, and then maybe a little word across there. Okay, I'm liking that so far. Okay, a Sue. Let's just put these things down here. Oh boy, I don't know. My art glitter glue's gonna cooperate. It wasn't cooperating yesterday. Need to go have a hot water bath. It 
it needs. Okay. Oh, yay, it's going to cooperate. Okay, I just want that over that. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go fabric tack with the fabric here. And then we'll I'll, I'll finish this and then we'll look at another another one of the pockets. Or yeah, pouches, pockets, what do you call those? Plastic sleeves, <laughs> something. Go this way, it's got words. I have certainly gotten enamored with the slow stitching. I am having a lot of fun doing that. In fact, I dreamt about it last night. Oh man. So it's taken over my brain. So I had a funny thing happen this morning. Um, sometimes, well, I've been told by a lady, and I, I don't know if she knew what she was talking about or whatever. She was a friend of a middle school, one of my middle school friends. And she told me that I had a well-developed sixth sense or, you know, kind of, psychic powers or whatever and I have had a few things in my life that have you know that I have had that experience where I foretold something you know well this morning I had two I had two journals to list in my Etsy and I had done the listings yesterday well this morning I woke up and I thought to myself um I'm deciding what I want to put right down there. Um, I thought to myself, you need to check the one listing because I don't think that, that you put the price right. That's the, well, that's exactly, okay, these are Deb from Artsology. Um, that's exactly what went through my brain. And so I came down, got things ready to film and all of that. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, and then um, turned on the computer and got onto Etsy and everything and thought, oh yeah, I, I wanted to check that. Well, I had like a dollar something <laughs> instead of a hundred something. Oh my gosh. Mike said, well, whoever got that journal would have been happy. <laughs> Oh, it was funny, but isn't that weird? Oh, that so freaks me out when stuff like that happens when I know something I shouldn't know or whatever. Okay. Okay, so we have a little journal card out of a use it up pile and it's very cute. I like it. Okay. So we'll put that aside and um, and then these I'm going to put in my use it up and um, I have this, I have this sack too. I have lots of sacks in here. I'll just add that in and if we feel like working on it, we will. Okay, so all of that stuff is refiled. Let's look at... What I was thinking I'm looking at was these. So these are book pages that are in a different language than in, than English. Um, I'm gonna keep this just in case I want to put some in my 
D-Stash. Oh, they're very fun. I should be using these. Oh, look at those teeny weeny little. And here's some like Chinese. There's just all sorts. Okay, I'm gonna say I probably won't use that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Look at that font. Isn't that fun? And look at this color. It's awesome. It's got writing on it. Isn't that funny how so many things do? Especially kids' books end up. That'd be good to back something with. I'll put that in that tray. that one. I like the color of that one. Very um, thin and look at that. With the, it's, got, it's got spine grits on it. Who knew? Who knew this were hiding in that um, just hiding in that folder? Like, like the part of a book board. It'd be fun to do something on that side, wouldn't it? And leave that, but then have this for writing. It'd be kind of a cool, different journal card. Let's leave that aside. That's what we'll play with in this one. That's really kind of cool, too. It is kind of nice once you know the things that you like to work with because then you can then you can share other stuff with other people you know like this little pile is just gonna go in my stash. okay so let's see here But you know what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of using some of this and collaging on here and having that be um, just a neutral background because there's so many different colors and languages here. Okay, let's do it. Let's just do it. And then I'll put the bits and pieces in my um, trays and they'll be there for me to use in other things. I'm 
Now this I want to make sure is stuck down well because I don't know, this might be too thick for my sewing machine. <laughs> I like that side better, but it's got writing on it. Maybe we'll just go. Oh, it's fragile. Just kind of do a little something from each folder and we'll have a few pieces to show for it. Plus we will have reorganized what we have going on. Um, ooh, look at that, that's neat. I'm sure I must have must have bought a pack of um, international book pages at some point because that's that's what this seems like there's a lot of uh, duplicates so but it sure doesn't do you any good if you're not using it does it okay so there's that let's see what else we have? I've got a little dictionary page here that could be kind of cool. This is one of those things when with this really old paper I need to change out my glue book frequently because it's going to stick and tear. Okay. Um, a couple more little sheets of something. Don't want to use color. This one's a different color. And just tear that off about there. Okay, my husband's in. We can quit worrying about him. In the front door. He said, I'm going to use the front door. I'm not going to open our garage doors. I'm like, okay, honey. Our heater has been going nonstop. Electric bill is going to be real good this time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm about to use this. And I'm going to tear down the side so it's mostly all text. And then just kind of tear down this side too. Plop that in the middle. cool. Um, whoa, I kind of am wondering about like um, napkin or something over that. Like just kind of a fun little do a little picture type of thing with the napkin. I don't know. This is a good sized journal card for putting in a belly band, I feel like. Okay. Well, these are going to get refiled into my, 
my current filing system, which is a basket behind me. So I'm gonna just set these on the floor as that. Okay, let me grab my napkins. And we'll just see what we might have in there that might, that might work. We're at 30 minutes, okay. Um, well, here's some sort of travel-y sort of stuff. On this one. It's not floating my boat. Let's see what we have. I'll know it when I see it. I just haven't seen it yet. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. Which would kind of fit on there. Ooh, something just fell down over there. Did you hear that? <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll use that. Okay, let's get this. Let's get a Eiffel Tower out. All of those are not great. Okay, let's just. Because that would be just fine. Can I get the backs off of this? Okay, just going. Okay, so I think I want to tear this Eiffel Tower out. There will be the perfect journal for this. I am confident of that. At some point I'll be like, oh yeah, I've got that made. And I don't know, I just kind of like the Eiffel Tower because it's all not English. Okay. Okay, well, let's just play. You know, I figure this is a, a real no worries kind of project because I didn't even know I had this stuff, right? It was sitting in that binder and I didn't even know it existed. So, if it doesn't turn out like it's something I like, no harm, no foul. Like that didn't quite get enough either. Okay. Okay, well, and I've got these bits. I like this bit too. Be right there. Hmm. I don't mind that dragonfly. 
That's one big dragonfly in relation to, <laughs> to the building, though. Um, and I do want some of the words and stuff to show through the back. So, I think that's what I'm going to do with that, is... Yeah, I think so. Is there any flowers that I might like or something? Those are too big, way too big, right? Um, let's just have a quick look in this bag and see if there's any. This looks like mostly, mostly flowers. I don't know. I can't tell until I put it down. I don't think so. Well, I can do this like this, and then depending on what journal it goes in or whatever, if I want to add a word or something like that, we can do that later. Okay. Sorry, I got a little fussy there, didn't I? Thinking about what might work. Okay, just a little journal card of sorts. That has this kind of fun stuff on the back. I don't know. Not the most exciting piece in the world, but we'll just see. We'll see how it all goes. Okay, there's that. So let's check out another bit here. Um, cheesy peasy. Lots of stuff in there. Okay, well this one looks like it might be kind of fun to go through, so we'll go through this one and see what's here. Okay. Old postcard. 1942. I'll be back before you know I'm gone. <laughs> nice here. Love Helen. <laughs> I think I'm going to put those in my D stash though. These are old, like, old time pictures. Might use those. Those are a maybe. This guy's cut out. That's kind of fun. I have used these in my sewing journals before, so I'm going to keep those. I'm going to throw those up there. Oh, look, a cigar thingy. I'm going to put that in my basket of the next guy journal. Right over there. Let's see. 
bottle cap. Let's see, I have some of those. I'm just gonna put those all in my in my D stash. That's cute. That's cute. Just things that I think I will use. Our little images. These are little images like these. So I'll put those in there. That could be fun to play with. Put this one in there and this one too. These are. bits and pieces or papers yeah. okay. I'm gonna put that in the D stash can't keep everything Gail you cannot Please forgive. That's interesting. I might keep that. That could be fun. Oh, here's one of these. That's always fun. Select your girl's name and win a 60 cent box of high grade assorted chocolates. That's really cool. I wish it was boys' names for my little. My, ba my baby boy journal coming up here. These, I think, are relatives who I don't know who they are. I think that's my dad, though. I'm almost positive. Keep those. Chattanooga, Oklahoma. Avery label. An old tag. That's cool. And Grady, Oklahoma. Bits and bits. Old book page. Ooh, there's another scar band that's going in my guy's thing. Okay. Envelope. This is a little pack of some fun stuff. Little book pages and things. You know what? I think I'm going to pop that back in there. I may use that as a thank you gift. Um, in my Etsy. These are old pictures from an old magazine that can go there. Okay. And then this little bag, there's another envelope. Those are cool. This is a very old picture. It's crumbling. Very old. But once again, I can't keep everything, right? Arnie and Maribel. Marbel? I actually am going to, I have a whole bunch of old pictures that I was going to do a digital out of, so maybe I'll do that. Okay, so this bit is going in the D stash pile. 
I'm doing good. Letting go of things. So far, so good. I'll refile this. And <clears throat> I don't know. I think what I'm going to do with these is put them in my use it up and get, go ahead and try and get those used up in, a, in another use it Tuesday. Okay. How much time we have? About 15. This would be a fun one. This is um, children's book pages. And so we'll see what we have. Bunny books, pictures. These are great for little golden book journals, which I haven't done in a long time. But I just haven't been moved to do one in a long time. Aladdin. Kind of looking to see. I have one thing. Look at that Benjamin Bunny. I'm feeling these. A lot of them are super old. So I don't know that they'd work, but this one might. Let's see if that one does. Have a little little something in mind for that one that I'll show you. One might work too. I mean, these are just great little kid, little kid pages, but I think I have pictures like this cut out somewhere else too that I just haven't found yet. This is a sticker. Okay, I'm gonna just, that's going over there. That's a cute Christmas one. So that should go in my Christmas stuff or it won't get used once again. Tom and Jerry, I'm gonna that in the D stash. Gosh, these are so brittle. This one's falling apart. Ooh, that'd make nice backing. I think I'm gonna put that in my in my backing. It needs to be strengthened somehow, anyhow. Ooh, this one could be cool with the idea that I had in mind. falling apart. Um, I think I'll put that over in my collage stuff since it's falling apart. Okay. Children's pages. I'm not sure what to do with these. I'm going to put them back in here for now, I think. I mean, these are sort of a specialty item. Like, I don't feel like it goes in every in every journal, you know? Okay. So, this was um, my pal, Corey Dahman. Oh, guys, I got page grits everywhere. Um, it was just a little idea she had on her channel. So, it has to be square. So, how big is this? Okay, I am going to cut this to eight so that I know what to cut the other side. Okay, eight by eight. Okay, and I'll 
show yet, and then maybe we'll do these other couple too. Well, I didn't get that straight. Which, it really helps if it's square. Okay, so we're just going to make this little envelope thing. We'll have the colored pieces on the outside. Okay, so corner to corner like so. And then tip to fold. And you fold it up, it's like that. And then this comes over this away. And this one comes over this away, trying to keep that about the same size. Didn't do that straight. Okay. there and then this tucks into here and then this goes here I'm making mine as kind of an envelope but it can also be like if this is like a one-sided piece of paper then you can tear it apart and it can be journaled in see what I'm saying so let's make a couple more out of these okay so this is how wide six inches is right there pull that a little bit of that off and then I'm gonna get the colored part we're gonna go six inches and let's go this way. Up to the fold. Fold, it. fold this one. I don't know why I like to do this side first. No particular reason there. We'll tuck into there. I'll link Corey's channel and you can go over and see her. She does a much better job of explaining. And then you can, if you want to, you can push this down so it just barely tucks in there too. Like so. Okay, there's another one. So let's do this one. And we'll have used these for something anyway. Okay. So six, six and a half. We can go six and a half on this one. Make a little bit bigger one. Barely cut that off. Okay, and then I guess I'll go this way, six and a half. There's book page crumbs everywhere. Oh, it's time to be done, isn't it? Getting there? Oh, I have a few minutes. Okay. Let's have the buffaloes show, kind of. Okay, so this isn't exactly square. I didn't do a good job, but we can fix that. All we have to do is just cut off the part that's not square. Like that. Just 
makes a cute little thing to tuck in a pocket, doesn't it? And then we'll just tuck this one in too for fun. There we go. Just a couple of pieces. Then you could decorate this if you wanted to. Okay, so what else do we have left in our book? We've got, these are vintage cards. Didn't realize I had in there and I've already sold some packs of those on my Etsy. birthday to someone who's two. Christmas to the happy parents. Oh my gosh, look at that one. So these were put, these my mom got when I was born because I recognize the names are so I must have got this out of my dear little Gail. <laughs> that tells you how old I am, these, these vintage cards. Hmm. Isn't that one cute? Well, I need to keep these because they're from when I was a baby. Oh, that's from my cousins. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to put those in keepsakes rather than in journal supplies. <laughs> okay, so that's a refile. And then, um, okay, I have these stamped images. Some of those can probably go into my D stash. These were images that of stamps friends had that I stamped so I could keep them. I like that one. Teacups, butterflies. Just going to keep the ones I think I would use. I might use those. Use that. Hearts. Went crazy doing those. Bunch of hearts. Here's some sayings. Those could be fun. So I need to put this all in my use it up. Snail mail. That's fun. So they're stamped on tissue and on napkin. a gazillion of this guy. I used him a lot when I was doing mixed media. That would be plenty to keep. It's kind of fun. I have these stamps. Oh gosh, I put them on put them on pay uh Pattern papers too. It's a bit of fun. Okay, this is good. I'm getting. I'm gonna let a lot of this go. Stamped images. Okay, all of this is gonna go in my D stash. Okay, I feel like I made some progress, guys. What we only have a couple of things left. We have postcards. And I don't know, this 
this is like magazine thing cutouts and stuff. This is alpha poo paper. <laughs> stuff from magazines, old magazines and stuff. And this one is Vintage Ephemera. Well, that's descriptive, Gail. Okay, so I still have those two to go through. These and this pile. And I have a feeling a lot of it's going to go into my D stash. Oh, look at there. There's a nice pocket envelope. We got to use that. Put that in the use it ups. Well, there's some fun stuff. Old receipts and things. Those I'll keep. Oh, I'm past time. I'm past time. Well, thanks for helping me clear out a little bit, guys. I sure appreciate it. I hope you have a grateful day. We'll just see you in the next video. Bye.